So let's see what else we can do with these cabinets. Let's go back to this cabinet here. We saw just quickly that it was a double cabinet and we had the chance of doing doors or drawers. So let's go and look at this cabinet more in detail. I'm going to put some drawers in. Now I've got four options here and uh, you can only pick one from this list otherwise it gets a little bit confusing. So that represents four eight inch drawers. In this layout we have two six and two ten inch drawers or we have an eight and two twelve inch drawers and in this layout we have two four and two twelve inch layouts. Now this is these are proportional and deals with a typical three foot high countertop. Obviously if you made your cabinets higher this proportion would change. So let's just go with the 888 layout. There we are. Now you'll notice that these are design drawings. I'm trying to reduce the file size, so I've just shown the drawer fronts. I'm not a manufacturer of cabinets. I'm interested from a design point of view what my clients are looking for. So, what else can we do? Well, we can change the color. So let's go to our menu and let's go and uh, look at what we have here. We have colors that were picked out from this model. And the first thing I can do is I can edit the color of the cabinet front as I choose. I can also edit the color of the handles. And thirdly, I can edit the top. All right, let's look at some additional features here with editing. Let's say your client has asked you that he wanted a pantry cabinet. So this particular pantry cabinet is going to be six feet high, three feet wide, and two feet deep. And uh, it's going to have some doors on it. So there we are. Let's get a pull knob. There we are. It's not going to require a top on top of that, which is fine. All right. So now, what else can we do? Well, we by default put in this divider, so we probably don't want that divider. So we want to put some more shelves in so we can copy and uh, paste in place these shelves and then distribute them. A little bit more there, edit, paste in place, put another one in there. Okay, let's say that's sufficient for the for the moment and uh, and you come back and show this to your client and the client says well I don't really want to see all of this glass I don't want people to see the stuff that I have in my pantry and then you go ahead and you say okay that's fine I can change that so I can change my material I can edit my material and I can uh, uh, first of all make it solid or yellow of that nature and uh, and you don't like a solid color so I can edit that as well and I can use a texture so let's take a texture so now I have a wood texture and uh, I want to apply that same texture to the yellow doors and uh, okay so now we have a cabinet and you want to put it in as well. Maybe I don't like those gray handles. I can edit them as well. And I can make them blue. 